This is a sampling of some of the amazing talent we have. So excited here in studio to talk more about Holiday Spectacular. It happened December 6, 7, and 8. It's Katie and Marsha and Nico and Lily and Ella. We'll talk to the grown-ups first, and then Nico and Lily and Ella. They are waiting so patiently. Marsha, you brought a picture book to describe Holiday Spectacular in pictures. To those listening to this right now, kind of paint the picture. And if I have never been a part of the Holiday Spectacular ever before in my life, why do I need to be a part of it this year? Because your season is not complete unless you come to see Holiday Spectacular. So many people have said, my our Christmas season begins with your show. And so it's just a heartwarming story about our community. It's the only place that you can live where you have a story written by Nancy Steele Brokaw about the people in our community every single year. It's a different script about our community with singing and dancing and unbelievable actors. It's the place to be. Holiday Spectacular. Talk about those phenomenal actors and actresses. Uh, the lady to your right, Kimberly, I'm told she has a solo in this year's she production. She does. She's Scrooge's girlfriend and she sings a very special song. So you'll have to come and hear it because Kim was a wonderful find this year and we don't know how she hasn't been in our show before, but we were blown away at auditions. Can you really talk about having been a part of this from a from a guest, uh, part of the audience, obviously, such a great part of the Bloomington Normal community. And now this is the first year that you're on the other side, that you're on the stage. Take me through those feelings. Yes, I, I, I can't tell you how wonderful it has been to be a part of this very special group of people in the community that want to share their talents. It is uh, an amazing group. Everyone is so kind, so welcoming. If you want to be in a show, you need to come out next year and audition. It's just been a great experience, and I, I haven't been on stage for so long, and it's just been wonderful to get back in the saddle, so to speak, and be a part of this show, and, and to be next to all this amazing talent. It's quite intimidating, I'll tell you that. Holiday Spectacular, December 6, 7, and 8. We got Mom here. That's Katie. We're going to talk to the little ones here momentarily, but kind of take me through the emotion you have, I would imagine, proud, you can't even put into words, but if you had to, what's going through your mind here as we got the countdown looking forward to December 6th, 7th, and 8th? I'm a little stressed. I'm a little stressed out. There's a lot of driving and costumes and logistics, but I love it. I've loved being a part of this for my children. They are so uh, much passion in the production and the staff, and they are doing this all for the kids. There is very few opportunities in Bloomington Normal for kids to get on stage and sing and dance. And that's what my kids love to do. And so I'm maybe a little stressed and overwhelmed, but so happy to do it for them and for Marsha and Kim and for all the people there that support my kids and make them feel special and all the kids on stage and all the talent. It is so worth it to come see this show. December 6th to the 8th, it's Holiday Spectacular. Of course, that's when the little ones and the grown-ups are going to be a part of it. But one more question for you, Ma, before we get to the kids. Was there a moment in any of their lives where they told you or you noticed that they wanted to be performers? My oldest, Lily, wanted to be in the talent show in fourth grade. She is now in seventh grade. So that is when we kind of started this journey, and they go to voice lessons. All three now enjoy it and go to voice lessons. So that's been really special for them to get to do this show together. They're playing siblings on stage, so I know that I will cry during the show. Nico is playing Tiny Tim, and so if anyone's familiar with A Christmas Carol, there's a moment where Tiny Tim's not doing so well, and so I think I I will have a hard time with that, but I'm really, really proud of them and excited to see them do this together. What a great memory for them. So that's mom, Katie. Now we're going to talk to the little ones who, I don't know if you guys are going to get like 20 bucks for being so patient, but this is ridiculous. I would have not been so patient waiting to talk. We got Nico and Lily and Ella. So uh, Nico, we'll start off with you, bud. What's kind of the, the one feeling you have, or maybe it's a few feelings, looking forward, all this rehearsing and practicing and hard work, it's going to pay off December 6th when you guys get to go on stage in front of an audience, the Holiday Spectacular. I think it's really fun to rehearsal a lot and do all the stuff that we do with my siblings and stuff and everybody that that's there that supports me. So Tiny Tim, have you have you like seen the movie and kind of know what the story is about that you are a part of? Yeah, 
I, we watch it every Christmas. So you kind of already know what's up before probably on day one of rehearsals. You knew the whole story and you knew how to, to be Tiny Tim, yeah? Pretty much. So tough question here. Um, very humble is Nico. You got Lily and Ella here. I mean, I know what you're going to say and what you probably should say, but whose part do you like more in the performance if you had to pick Lily or Ella? Ella's because she says a lot of funny lines in the show. Okay, fantastic. I appreciate the honesty. I thought he was going to say they're both equally as amazing. Nico, uh, good luck. Have fun out there this year. Thank you. Your feelings coming into this uh, year's production? I'm excited. I'm a little nervous, but that's just how it starts. And then once you're on stage getting ready, you have... You have a lot of fun. And have you been a part of any other productions or like your brother here, this is the, the first performance that you'll be a part of? This is my second year with Holiday Spec and that's pretty much it. One reason that we've not maybe mentioned or we already have for people, families, friends to come see this year's Holiday Spectacular would be? To have a lot of fun. Like, it's a lot of fun and like Marcia said, it's just another part of Christmas. You have to see that and then you get the full Christmas. I love it. Thank you so much. And finally, last but not least, Lily, we got the uh, seasoned professional here. Now, I think your mom said in fourth grade you were in the talent show. Is that correct? Yes. And moving ahead here to the Holiday Spectacular 2019, what's something that you're excited that maybe your siblings have not talked about or, or that you share in their excitement? I'm really excited about doing this with all my friends. I met a bunch of them last year, and we had all we all had a great time, and I'm excited to do that again this year. When we watch it this year, we don't think of that, that that camaraderie and kind of it's almost like playing a sport where you got your teammates, right? But you're not trying to make a basket or, or score a goal. You're trying to just have the best performance possible. Right. Like it's all working together to try and get the best we can be. But at the same time, it's not really competition. You're just working together and having fun. December 6th, 7th, and 8th, we got Nico and Lily and uh, Ella. I tell you what, guys, if you're looking for a part-time job in a radio station, you're all hired. <laughs> Thank you. There you have it. And I tell you what, all this amazement, now that you're needing some Kleenex, just tears of joy, how do you get tickets, Marsha or Katie or Kimberly? How can I do just that after listening to this to be a part of the Holiday Spectacular? You can get them directly by walking into the BCPA in downtown Bloomington, or you can go online, artsblooming.org, and get tickets. We have 160 people on stage at one time for the opening and for the church scene and for the elf number and for Jingle Bells. We've got Dopsky dancers, and there's just so much going on. It Your, your brain can explode with all of the color and with everything that that it's going to it's going to be a gift to you from all of these people that love our community marcia needs to take a breath and we don't want her brain to explode so we'll wrap it up now and we'll see you december 6th 7th and 8th holiday spectacular everybody thank you thank you so much